Whoa, 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 Quick note before we get started. I've had a week to reflect on the events from last week. We were actually doing a live stream at the time when we were doing our normal environmental cleanup. We were pulling the car out of the river and at that moment in time, we realized that there was actually a body inside of it. That body belonged to Timothy Robinson who actually went missing 12 years ago. So today's event that you're about ready to see led us to the unexpectedly solving a 12 year old missing person's case. The family's reached out to us, you know, Jess, the uh, niece, Don, the brother. There's comments in, I'll leave a link to the other video to the live stream in the comments down below. You'll see them thanking us. We, we were able to bring closure to their family. And that's something that myself and our team, we feel really good and confident, you know, not confident, but we feel humbled by it, is really the, you know, the right word that it really provides for us the the wanting to get back out in the water, not just to clean up the environment as we normally do with you know these cars when we find them, but also the bringing closure, bringing resolution to families who have been seeking those answers. You know, 12 years ago when uh, Timothy went missing, you know, the brother had actually kind of hoped that he ended up up in Amsterdam. Unfortunately, that was not the case. What you're gonna see are the events of that day it's gonna start off like any other day to where you know my team and I were out there cleaning up the environment, laughing, enjoying ourselves, but the moment, and I mean the moment that we realized that we happened to have somebody in the vehicle, everything changed. We went into clearing the scene, making sure that everything was covered up, respecting what we had, on the phone with the police immediately. So hug your loved ones, realize how precious life is, and reach out to those that seem to be struggling. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy the video. As you guys saw, we're about ready to get a car or an SUV. I have no idea what we just uh, pulled out because I just shot the intro for this and now we're shooting the, like the, hey, here we are. The team is back together. Hey. We got we got Nate. Sam the Adventure Man getting ready to go. Uh, what are we going for? We're going deep hole. So what we have is we have like the, the river coming down. Okay, we have the shoreline over here and over in this area we have a, what we're going to call a big uh, kind of a vortex hole. And then this drops down to 80 feet in the bottom and it's kind of a big cliff wall right here too so right here is roughly 20 feet and then it drops down to on a good day when the river's down 72 to 75 yep. feet the river's up right now so we're hitting 80 feet all the way across through here over here we have the swim dock so little swim dock so we'll say swim right here is roughly 25 feet and this slopes down so we got slope 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 from 20 40 down to 80 okay what we want to do is kind of start at the pillar here and we're going to take the wall around kind of drop down to 35 feet there's going to be a toy a yellow toyota and then i've been told that if we come back this direction there's a boat i don't know how to draw a boat here we go there we go boat and i think that's about 45 feet and then if we keep coming around and we draw and underneath the toyota there's like two or three more frames so three frames I uh, keep coming around, boom, 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 and I want to say it's about right here. There is a uh, Mazda, here, in fact, right there, Mazda SUV. It's facing this direction, so the front of it is facing kind of near the cliff wall. So we're only like five to ten feet off the cliff wall. It's right side up, isn't it? No, it's upside down. Okay. Now, if you come off of the uh, Mazda and you come over here, there is a, another vehicle, it's a Jetta, that's also at 80 feet. And then if we come off of the Mazda over here is where the we have a pickup truck. I think it's an S10. It's upside down as well. Kind of sitting on a set of uh, like a cinder block back here. So you can swim up underneath of it. It's not going to fall on you. Once we get those marked, let's then come back and we're going to tie off a line. So a rope, rope to the shore. And then we're going to take this rope down to whichever car we end up deciding to pull first. All right, check, check, check. Radio check, radio check. How you doing, Sam? Are you ready for this? And look, it's a uh, floating rock. I hope it's a rock. Hey, Sam! Ah, it floats! Hey, you can break my camera! That cliff wall starts somewhere right here. Let's stop right, let's drop right here. Stay to my right. <laughs> 
put on my hands. Let's go to the north. Alright, there's the bottom. There's a spill table. No, I think the spill table is attached to a car. So it's not that way. We're gonna take the spill table the other way. Oh, 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 there it is. Okay, we found the car. And it is the Mazda. Just like we were hoping. Okay. That's beautiful. Now, I hope that Sam's still here. So I'd really love to call this stuff up with him. Simple enough. We have the car. So stuff at the back. And the water clarity is actually really good today. I like it. See things. Oh, last time I was down here, I think that all the windows are closed on this. The window is closed. And that window is closed. We're out of the uh, other side of it. Car expired in 2012. Is that a Toyota or a Mazda? Oh yeah, it's a Mazda, Mazda 6. Here, you want to hold this? Yep, yep, come on over. So make sure you go down around the axle right here. Good. Like that. That, that was your cue. Oh, <laughs> find anything good? Because <laughs> the camera's on now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we found something good. We found a, a Mazda 6. Here, here you go, Jared. I got you. Got you oh, a necklace. There we, well, Some bling. Show him to uh, Dave. He'll show you his boobies. Here you go, Dave. Throw them to you. Ready? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> Sam? There's the uh, line so we can just go hand over hand out to it. Once, it. once it's floating, we need to go that way with it. Do you have, do you have carabiners on those? Need three, three carabiners. Bring it back down. Bring it back down. And I'll take it back down. I'm taking a bag and a tank. Alright, and down we go. Alright, so, uh, the patch right here. Okay, so that one's on. The hose. Up through the back here, close the valve. Open that up. Line air. Alright, air's going in. Let's turn this valve off too. So that way that back can be ready. Alright, Sam. Go get one more back. If I'm following along, they got 40 or 45 feet of rope and they're gonna hook the bags there. So the bags are gonna pop up, but the car is still gonna be, still gonna be about 40 feet down. Yeah. And the idea is to bring it up to 45 feet so right. that way they can drag it over to, to closer to shore. Over here and then they'll set it down and the re, re -hook it up. Re -adapt so that way they can bring it up to the surface. So at this point we're watching for bags, yes. not the car. Now we don't want to fill a bag all the way, because bags will actually expand as they go up. So let's go ahead and stop the air at this point on that one. Alright, looks like Sam's back. He's getting that one hooked up. That's beautiful. Yeah, fist bump. Woo! Now one thing we need to do is Sam. We need to make sure that we close the valve here. And that's closed. By the way, if you need any uh, lift bags, we are actually in the surface of uh, the business of selling out lift bags. Sam likes them, he loves them, the way they're built. Got a promo video and everything on it. The link is in the description. Better built lift bags than anything else on the market. We need one more bag. I think it's stuck pretty good in the mud. Nate in the supply kayak just came in and got another bag and a carabiner. He's headed back out. There you go, Sam. Alright. Here we go. Let's turn it on. Got to close the valve. Okay, we're good now. So what we have right now is we have each bag will lift 1,500 pounds. The car weighs about 4,000 pounds, 4,500. 4, That's above water. Oh, that didn't take much. There it goes. It's floating now. Woo! Yeah! There it is. Hey. Yeah! Woo! Good job, Sam. Got it. I like it. Yeah. It's all you, Jared. 
I'm waiting for you to pull me in. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working right, on thank it. Thank you. At least you're not How far pulling. in do you think we need to come? Until it stops. Until it stops. Then we'll take uh, two more bags out, start to level it up, and then we'll drain some bags and then finish floating it. There it is, floating for salmon. Okay, now uh, the car is there. The bags that are on there, they're hooked to two wheels. Just one. Just one? Yeah. Because I was still trying to flip it. The way that it was angled, uh -huh. it was like kind of a weird frontal upside down. And so I was trying to hook onto the front here to flip it up. So I don't know if it's now flipped. Okay. But a J hook also looked like it was ready to come off. So like, we really should use chains instead of yeah. this. Unless it was like sitting flat, then we can lift it. Yeah. But when it's still upside down. You can get around the axle with a chain. It's a lot more secure than the J hook. Yeah. Dave Mack, so. Sponsor number one. Spon Were you the very first one? You said so. The very first gear sponsor. So click the little join button down below because of Dave Mack. And we have like 115 sponsors now, total sponsors who without them, we would not be able to buy additional gear, whether it's chains, J-hooks. Uh, we also ended up, uh, because of the auction, as well as sponsors like you, hit that join button, become a member like Dave. Worth every penny. The car's floating over there. Okay, so this first one right here that I'm taking a shot of, so that's the one that we did the stage lift with. Mm -hmm. And then we put the two other bags on the front tire, is what we did. And then Nate went down with the assistance of Sam out there and put the third bag on. Now the good news is, is although those bags were right next to the all the glass, um, looks like the bags held up just fine. So we don't have any uh, pop bags. So that's real good news. Hopefully. Yeah, no, everything looks good. Looks like Nate's going back down to double check stuff. I like it. We you know what's crazy to think about? We're pulling a car. <laughs> You're high center there. I'm moving. All right, well, let me get it out of that one out. All right, well, if you just want to hold it, I'll swim it out there. Why did you, I'm, I'm getting hot. Let me swim. Okay. What is it? I've had it. Okay. Mazda 6. I didn't want, to, I didn't want to get your hat wet. I'll keep my hat on the water. It says uh, 2012. So it hasn't been in there that long. <laughs> Ten years at most. Don't slip on that. <laughs> Bet. We're going around the pole there. The pole. We're, yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're going to... We, yeah, we'll go around that second piling. And Come on, we're going to lot safer. Yeah, so the reason we're going around the pillar is, is that way we can drag the car from over there straight across instead of coming in. If we come in, we're going to end up dragging it. We don't want to do that. We'll just get high centered. I was reading up on it, it was like two, you get two free ones, no questions asked. Oh, yeah. 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 This uh, boat ramp is getting a little busy today. <laughs> yeah, so, we, we, so when this happened, we have to be very, very um, conscientious <laughs> of our neighbors to make sure that uh, last year, like we, we didn't block the ramp for longer than like 30 minutes, but some people got a little upset with us. Mm. If this is your first time here, Elite Towing has volunteered their time and their services to come out and help us pull cars out of the river. If this is your first time, none of us are paid. All of us are 100% uh, volunteers. There are no government agencies or anybody else that uh, funds this little operation. So without Doug there, without Elite Towing, none of this would be possible. And if you are anywhere in the US and you happen to own a tow company, drop me an email, drop me a note, and let me know. My email's in the description. And let me know where you're at because I have like a big map and a list of locations across the US as we start to travel more. 
we can definitely use your service as well. So thank you. A little more cable. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's all. Can back up the truck a little bit. All right, we got, uh, we got it. it. Oh, got it. Go. Make sure you don't hit the wrong button on that, Sam, nope, and nope. turn that off. Oh, I got you, man. We're right. good. Hey, join you guys sometime. Yeah, come on Let's out. see the car. Is it yeah, right on. side up? Is it right side up? It's... Are we on the wheels? Here, hold that up there. Don't drop the phone. Don't hit any buttons. Here either. we go, here we go. It's on its side. The side's right here. You can probably put a hook and flip it over. All right, hold up. Let's see what, what we need to do. Yeah, probably put a hook on this side and... Oh, oh, wow! Go. Straight to that J-hook if we can. Is it upside down? Yeah, we got this J-hook. Let's no, get the bags off. No, it's on the off. side, yeah. Okay. Let's get the bags off. We have this J-hook. We can just roll it right over. Okay. Anybody, uh, anybody from San Antonio? That's where I was born. I want to know. There was a, uh, there was a, uh, in Texas? Kirk, you should come on down real quick. Hurry up. We're down here at the Milwaukee boat ramp. Like, this is what happens while we're out here. The whole process. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep, that's a Mazda 6. Look at that. Well, now it's gone. There's a shoe in there. Whoa, 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 Call the cops, call the cops, call the cops. Everybody call them? Yep, call them. Sorry, you guys gotta back up. Okay, we're leaving. Alright, apologize. It's not a company, it's a group of Adventures with Purpose. We've been pulling cars out of the group. So uh, this got real real quick. We're actually doing a live as we're pulling a body out. Uh, we're showing a little bit of the car and um, there's a body inside of it. We've got Dave on the phone right now with the cops. We're uh, pulling a plate number real quick. Can you just wiggle the plate off, break it off? Yeah, I tried. 785? 785. Dry. D-R-Y. D-R-Y is the plate. Oregon plate? Do you like dog? Oregon plate. R-Y. We've also got, uh, I think we might actually have some identification in there. Yeah, we just, it's just been our understanding. Of Here. Like so just, just record, John, but don't show the body. So what we got going on. Yeah, I'll make sure to stay on this side. Yeah, let me see if I can get some ID on here. We're on our way, Jared. All right. There's a card right there. Yeah, I'm trying to grab that. That's a hotel room key. Sad day, man. Solve the mystery. Hopefully whatever happens, we provide closure to some yeah. family. And yes. Knowing is better than not knowing. You know what I mean? Yeah. This got real. Now we know <laughs> where so-and-so is. Yep. Well, I'm going to say, let's go ahead and get on dry land. They're going to need dry land on there, so let's just pull it up a little bit more. And then uh, we'll make sure we... Oh, it looks like Sam's blocking off this, the area. Okay. You want to tell the boat what's going on? Did you hear what's going on? Did you hear what? We have a body in the car. They're going to shut down the ramp. Do you want to pull out real quick? Yeah, pull out real quick. Come on in. Yeah, we'll jump out of the bubble real quick and just move it up a little bit. Does that guy want to get his boat out? Yeah, we're going to pull this to the side. Get it from the side over there yeah. and then pull this over. Yeah, they move the truck over
When you first went down there, didn't you try to look inside to see? I did try to look inside. In fact, even when it was upside down, I looked inside and I didn't notice. Even when it was coming out, I didn't notice. Like, I saw the tennis shoe first. So, so like, oh yeah, just shoes. Yeah. So what we have right now is uh, we're actually waiting on the uh, uh, PD to come and uh, they're going to take over. Uh, this is definitely a, I won't say it's a uh, crime scene. This is not considered a crime scene. What is this considered? I Technically, I think it's the same thing as a crime scene until they figure out. Yeah. It's a potential crime, crime scene. Right. Say again? The scene of the crime would probably be where they went in. Yeah. All right. Well, we, we wait for PD now. Yeah. Everything's all roped off. Got it all covered. Showing respect. As soon as we saw that, man, we had to get everyone out and yep. cover it up. Dude, I'm still kind of shaken up by it. Like, yeah, that's absolutely. The first absolutely. one we've actually... Surprise. Yeah, we, we weren't yeah. expecting that. So, about how long ago? Uh, we just, uh, the phone call went in 15 minutes ago. Okay, so right uh, right right I called the, 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 moment, the moment it came out of the my, water. My phone kind of brain for a minute. Okay. And so I called back. cleared it, called back. So within okay. minutes, gotcha. I called you. I, I called because I had the easiest access to the phone. Where the Yeah, we were in the junkyard, which is the hole, where the, the hole that's over here. We call this junkyard because it's 80 feet deep. Where the swim area is at, it's actually 90 feet deep today with the river being up. So the, um, but how far? Uh, uh three, four hundred yards. Yep. And yeah. roughly, roughly 150 yards out. Yeah. 85 yeah. feet deep. Yeah. And it was uh, the car was upside down. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So I don't know if, uh, how much of that you heard. Right. So we have a, a detective that's on his way as well as uh, some, who all do we have coming down on this? Like, I, I've never actually had one where we, where we unexpectedly ran into this. So far it's gonna be us. Okay. So I'm guessing the uh, news will probably be showing up. Uh, they always catch wind of these things. Uh, a lot more officers. The parking lot is going to become a madhouse. You may want to talk to him real quick as to what your role is yeah. in this, Doug, and yeah. if you need to hang out and bring a guy yeah. back and what yeah. else is going on. I'm so. going to talk to him. We're on the police rotation, so I'll see if I can't set it up so that we can remove it. You're already here. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're already here. Two, actually, who are the divers you guys speak yeah. to? Uh, and we got Nate as well. Okay. Okay. So it sounds like we got everything from you guys. Um, at this point, we're going to call the medical examiner. Um, we'll probably do, we'll do a little bit of investigation here, take some pictures and whatnot, and then uh, call the medical examiner at that point to come. Body. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want us to clear the scene now, and this is now your guys's, or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably, probably better because at this point, uh, where the tree is a crime scene. We yep. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have something to cover? Do you want to cover? Or, um, um, we probably have something. shut it down. So. Yeah. Well, you we probably get so nobody comes well, in from behind. Well, you got people been uh, yeah, yeah, up taking pictures. pictures. Yeah, yeah. We probably got some uh, blankets up there, and one of the sergeants to kind of just cover it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, can see you got Looky Lose right there with their cameras. You might, yeah, you might want to. Yeah, it's a, it's a clear shot if that's open. So yeah, grab some blankets or whatever, yeah, yeah. and then uh, yeah, we'll clean up our area and we'll uh, cool. vacate the area for you. Yeah, cool. Thanks, it. Thanks, Currently, the rumor is this vehicle is registered to a gentleman that went missing in 08. Is our understanding? That's the information we have, yeah. Okay, no, other, no further information. We still haven't confirmed any of that. Yeah. That initial response that we have is that's what we're looking at as of right now. Yeah, okay. So, but we need to follow up on that. We need to confirm it, read reports, and make a phone call. Yeah, they'll do. They'll do tests and we'll have to make sure. All right, perfect. And then you guys have our information, so that again, like people are always going to ask, so if you, are you able to actually just, hey, Jared, 100% confirm that's what it was? So yeah, we, yeah, we can do that. Pass that along. Yeah, okay. no worries. Yeah. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you realize there was a body in the car before you got it out of the water, or was that discovered after you got it up the ramp? We discovered that there was a body in the car after we were actually pulling it out. The water was coming out. We were actually on a live at the time, and that's when we, uh, we recorded. But that's when we realized that there was a body in the car. Shut that live stream down right away. What's it like for you guys? Obviously, you dive a lot. You help clean up the rivers. With it being a situation like this, what's it like for you? For It's real humbling. Uh, you know. And part of this is we're able to bring resolution to family. Somebody has been missing you know, a loved one. And today we found that loved one that we, you know, we now have answers for. Uh, for. For people who, you know, watch you guys, you guys obviously have a big following. Um, what do you want them to understand about the process, about these situations that, you know, the fact that they're real and it's serious? I think the big thing is, I mean, we come out here with a purpose, you know, adventures with a purpose to clean up the environment with the secondary of, are we going to be able to bring resolution to the family? And that's really, you know, the, I won't say that's the main reason why we're out here. Main reason is environmental, environmental cleanup for me and my Please spread the word about what we're doing. If you guys have a loved one or you guys have a concern, uh, please contact us through Jared's channel, Adventures with Purpose, and maybe we can come help you out. Just got done with the news. It was a uh, unexpected day for sure. Had uh, some new fans that came down today. Incredible dive. It was a very technical dive. Could not have done it without an incredible crew. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. We're still in isolation. I'll, I'll use lots of hand sanitizer afterwards. Thank you everybody for being here. If you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that little bell notification because you never know what it is we're gonna find on the next one. That's it for now. Later, later. Bye-bye.